So, and yes, you know, we already discussed about abstraction uh, and abstraction can be achieved by abstract class and interface. So abstract class, just having uh, one abstract, abstract methods and concrete methods, both will be there and variables, constructors also you can declare. And, but you, you can declare a class as an abstract. Using abstract keyword, you can uh, create a class. So that's the difference between normal classes and abstract class. And abstract class, you cannot create object because uh, some methods are undefined. If no definition, you cannot use that. So you are not able to create object. So why you cannot create object? If anybody asks, you have to tell answer. Because uh, there are undefined methods. That's why uh, you cannot create object. What will happen if you create object? You will get a compile time error. Okay. okay. So, and uh, interface. So, what is the interface is it's another uh, concept to achieve the abstraction. So interface is a type of a class. It's a similar to class, okay? So interface also is a template or a blueprint, which contains uh, constants, abstract methods, default static methods. So what is there in the interface inside? You can have interface inside constants, only constants, no other variables, no instance variable, nothing, no static variable, only constants. Then abstract methods, default methods, static methods. Now private methods also supported. These are the things will be there inside the interface. How you can create interface using interface keyword? So using interface keyword, you can create a interface. Like uh, using class keyword, you're creating a class, right? Same way using interface keyword, you will create an interface. Interface also, you cannot instantiate. So you cannot instantiate. Interface also because it has a undefined methods. It means abstract methods are there. There are default and static methods which has a body, which has a definition. You can define the methods. You can define the methods. You can define the methods. That means uh, default methods, you can give a definition. That means a uh, bracket, curly bracket, and body will be there. Default and static methods. So since Java 8, uh, so they added a default and static methods. Before, it was not there. And then Java 9 onwards, they added a private methods also. Otherwise, before, every method is a public method. Now, even a default and a static methods also. So those are uh, public methods only. You don't need to explicitly write public. By default, they are public. All abstract methods are public by default. Even you don't need to write a public abstract. Automatically, public abstract is inbuilt. Even if you don't write also, it will be there for abstract methods. And default static methods are by default public only. You cannot reduce the accessibility scope. You cannot give a protected default private keywords. You cannot give for the abstract methods and uh, 
default and static methods. But you can create your own private method, but not for uh, so default and static methods. So why you will use a Java interface? To achieve the 100% abstraction, you can use interface concept. Using abstract class, you can achieve only partial abstraction, right? Partial abstraction only you can achieve. Okay, so, and the second point, so as we discussed one of the point in the uh, inheritance, multiple inheritance is not supported by Java in case of class, but in case of interface, multiple inheritance is supported. So how it is possible, I'll show you that. How to declare interface by using interface keyword. Interface body can contain abstract methods, default methods, static methods, and constants. So an abstract method within an interface is followed by a semicolon, but no braces. Abstract method doesn't contain any implementation. That's abstract method, right? And default methods are defined with the default modifier. You have to use a default keyword. You have to write a default before your method starting before default void or return type method name you have to give. Static methods with the, the static keyword. All abstract default static methods in the interface are implicitly public. Even if you omit also, by default, they will be public code. So default methods enable you to add a new functionality to the interfaces of your libraries and ensure binary compatibility with the code written for your versions of the libraries. For example, so why you will write a default methods is you can define a so static methods for utility methods purpose. The static method is associated with the class, right? We already discussed this point. So every instance of the class says is a static methods. So that it makes it easier for you to organize your helper methods in your libraries. So that's why you will create a static methods in the interface. So which is common and you can give a logic inside the interface itself for the static methods. If it is common for multiple uh, classes also. Okay, so where you will implement this interface abstract methods? You can implement this abstract methods inside the class. So that means a class that implements an interface must implement all the methods declared in the interface. 
So for example, consider using interface. If any of these statements apply to your situation, like you know, you expect that unrelated classes would implement your interface. For example, comparable and clonable are implemented by many unrelated classes. So you want to specify the behavior of a particular data type, but not uh, concern about who implemented its behavior. So then you can use so this interface concept. And you want to take the advantage of multiple inheritance, then you can go for this. Uh, so interface concept. So basically a uh, hash map class, which implements the many interfaces like a serializable, clonable and map interfaces. So this is the, see multiple interfaces. So implemented in by this hash map class. So the interface syntax is access modifier, interface, interface name. See int words. So by default, this constant before public static final will add. So this, these three keywords will add, even though if you don't write here also. Simplicity, these three keywords will add. Abstract methods. So public abstract keywords will add. So before abstract methods. Default methods starts with the default keyword. Default void method name. Static methods, static void method name. So default methods, static methods, abstract methods, constants. These are all part of an interface, even private methods also. What are the naming conventions of a interface? Same as a class name. Every word first letter should be in capital letter. So how you will implement your is implements keyword between class and interface. This is how you will implement an interface. So class implements interface. Like we have an inheritance, uh, one class extends another class, right? Yesterday also we have seen uh, normal class extends the abstract class. You're using extends keyword in the abstraction to implement the abstract methods. But whereas in the interface methods you want to implement in the class, you have to use a implements keyword. How you are implementing the abstract methods of abstract class using extends keyword. How you are implementing the interface abstract methods in the classes using implements keyword. That's a difference. You got a difference also here. So the example is public class Firefox driver implements web driver. So Firefox driver is a class in Selenium and web driver is an interface. All the interface methods are implemented in this class. So how can you, this is the very, very important, these three points. How can you, okay, you have an interface, you have a class already implemented in the class, all the interface methods, the implementation is done in the class. So how you can call them? So how you can map interface and class? So this is the syntax. First line you will write in the Selenium code also. Interface reference variable equal to new implementing class. So this is called runtime polymorphism. See the parent, right? This is the parent type. Parent type, that reference variable pointing to child class object. So this is called runtime polymorphism. With this reference variable, you can call all the methods so that are overridden in the this class. So how can you call the wide method reference variable dot? method name. So how can you call return type non-static method? Return type variable name equal to object reference dot non-static method. So what is marker or tagged interface? A marker or tagged interface which has no member in the interface inside that is called marker or tagged interface. So this is the one. Marker or tagged interface means. So 